Okay, next I'd like to start a discussion about decision analysis. And we'll start with this example on non-probabilistic decision rules. Later on we're going to assume some prob probabilities on the states of nature, but for now let's go through a couple of non-probabilistic decision rules. So let's just assume that we've got three alternatives. We can build a large plant, we can build a small plant, or we could do nothing. Perhaps we've developed a new product and a prototype and we are thinking about producing this product. So we've got three alternatives. And let's simplify things by saying that we've only got two states of nature. Now a state of nature is out of our control. What we're deciding is large, small, or do nothing. We don't get to decide on the state of nature. That's just like the weather. It, it just sort of happens. <clears throat> so let's say we've got two states of nature. A favorable outcome, a favorable market, let's say, or an unfavorable market for our product. Then in here we've got the payoffs. <clears throat> if we build a large plant, and if we have a favorable state, let's say our profit is 200000 if, on the other hand, we build a large plant and it's unfavorable market, let's say we lose $180,000. Likewise, if we build a small plant and it's a favorable market, we earn $100,000 in profit. And if it's an unfavorable market, we lose $20,000. And if we do nothing, we don't gain or lose anything. <coughs> I'll talk about the regret matrix in a, in a little bit here. Now, the three decision rules are down here. The first one is what the optimist would do. The maxi max. The maxi max. What, what you do with that one is you select the maximum in each column, or sorry, in each row. Okay, so that's the maximum in that row. That's the maximum in that row. That's the maximum in that row. And then select the alternative that's associated with the maximum of those maximums. So the maximum of those maximums is 200,000 in that row. So you, the optimist then would go with the large. The maxi-min rule is similar. This is what a pessimist would do, or conservative. What you do is you select the minimum associated with each alternative in each row. So you got minus 180 in that row, minus 20 in that row, well zero in that row, and then you select the alternative that is associated with the maximum of those minimums. So the maximum of these minimums in each of the rows is zero. So you would do nothing. The next rule is my personal favorite. It's called the Minimax Regret Rule. Before you do this one, you have to come up with the regret matrix. It's also known as the opportunity cost matrix. To come up with the regret matrix over here, what you do is you look in the column of your payoff matrix under associated with each state of nature. And in this column, if there were a favorable market, where is there no regret? What's the best thing that happens in this column? Well, obviously the 200,000 is the best thing. So that gets a zero regret. To get the other regrets in that column, you just subtract. 200 minus 100 gives you 100 units of regret, and 200 <coughs> minus 0 gives you 200,000 in regret. Okay, in the second column, we look at this. Where's the zero regret? Well, it's associated with the zero, so that gets the zero re regret. That's the best thing in that column. And then you just subtract. Zero minus and minus 20 is 20. Zero minus and minus 180 is 180. Note that in a regret matrix, or in an opportunity cost matrix, all the entries are positive. There's no negative regret. <coughs> so with the mini-max regret rule, <coughs> you look at the maximum regret in each row again. There's the maximum in that row. There's the maximum regret in that row. There's the maximum regret in that row and you select the alternative that's associated with the minimum of those maximums. So clearly this is the minimum of those three maximums that's associated with small. So with the minimax regret rule you go with small. But you need to be careful with the minimax regret rule because 
these regrets are different, aren't they? These regrets here are just lost opportunities or lost profits. These regrets on this side are actually losses, real losses, right out of your pocket. I lose opportunities every day. Does it matter? No. But if I lose real profits, and especially that 20000 there, then that's a real problem for me. So just be careful with the Minimax Regret Rule. Next we'll be talking about the probabilistic decision rule and calculate expected value.